Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. Make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. This is the final part of the hard style or hard style progressive feature we've been doing with FM8 this month. And uh, we've kind of been building up a tune in the last couple of tutorials and I felt that we'd got to the end of the the kind of like that loop really. I'd gone through most of the stuff so I thought I'd do this final tutorial and show you to make this kind of quite interesting ARP sound that's quite gritty and um, some stuff with the arpeggiator and some distortion with FabFilter Saturn. So yeah it's quite an interesting ARP sound. I've got some um, automation on there as well what I just recorded in live uh, just for a bit more of a kind of natural sort of feel and um, yeah it's quite quite a nice ARP sound really, quite a nice tone and character to it so let's go and set this up, turn off the distortion for now and we can turn that back on and, and show you how that's affecting the sound so it's going to be like a stacked sawtooth kind of tone to create this ARP so and I'm going to use all six operators so turn all of these operators into sawtooth waves and turn them all on and they're all going to root through the filter as well. The filter's giving us this, that nice kind of like plucky sort of envelope shape on the sound. So I can root all of these operators through the filter at full volume. And then whilst we're kind of setting up the toe, and I tend to put the cut off of the filter up so you get like a... I mean these saws are going to kind of phase with each other at the moment. But turn that cough up so we can hear the high frequency in the sound and then turn these resonance controls off or down even and um yeah so i'm going to stack this sawtooth wave so i'm going to edit some of these ratios 0.25 on the first one it's taking it down a couple of octaves on operator e i'm going to go 0.5 keep d at one c can go up an octave to two B, I'm going to go 0.75, give us that kind of electro-y sort of chord, and then A, 1.5, so it's kind of an octave above B. So we've got that kind of stacked sawtooth chord tone going on, and then we can key sync all of these operators. So we've got quite a nice sort of chord, quite a nice tone. And we can just grit it up, just dirty it up a little bit in this FM matrix, start distorting some of these operators or using frequency modulation uh, to sort of like just grit up the sound a little bit. I'm going to use F, it's a carrier for the sound, but I'm also going to use it as a modulator. So um, I'm going to modulate A. C even further. About 63. And then I'm going to root E into F. 44. Maybe a little bit less. 43. And uh, then I'm going to feed all of these operators back into themselves. At around about 50. And actually, I'm going to do E slightly more. About 24, and then F again. So that's our kind of general tone setup with the sound. Go to the master section now. I'm going to make them sound monophonic, give it two voices. Take the detune off. Uh, and it's actually going into the red now so we need to kind of go back over here and just turn this volume of this kind of output the filter down and uh, yeah back to the master section uh, let's add a bit of digital on the sound let's push the digital kind of slide up to about 67 74 so it's kind of like just bit crushing the sound a bit giving it quite a nice crunchy top end uh, and with all of that set up 
Uh, I can set the up edge editor now actually and I'm just going to loop it over 16 steps this arpeggiator and we'll start looping this MIDI what we've got here so uh, the MIDI file the MIDI part it's just the sustained C3 note so mute those tops for now and then let's turn this arpeggiator on and because we've got automation on the cutoff, it's turning that cutoff right down. So let's pull this cutoff up for now. Back to this arpeggiator. So um, we're going to use this note length here in and and the kind of tie feature to just give us like quite nice sort of variation in the arpeggiator. So take that accent off the first step and. Um, well, let's key sync this arpeggiator. Keep it as 1 over 16, and then take the note length down to about 15. Go right up, but we'll take it down to about 15. And then we can add some of these ties in here, and it will just. just kind of like tying those notes a little bit and it's given that quite nice sort of groove and variation in the kind of arpeggiated loop uh, and I might just kind of bump one or two of these notes up an octave got that quite nice riff going on now. You can actually if we wanted to, I'm not going to keep it like this, but you can add a bit of shuffle to the arpeggiator, which can sound pretty cool depending on the sort of effect you're trying to achieve. So with that set up, let's um let's move over to this filter section and just set this up really. So um we want that kind of plucky envelope on the sound um, which the filter was kind of providing so I'm just going to take drag the release of this out actually just take the sustain right off so and we've got some automation on that envelope amount so when I take this cut off down as we had it before it's giving us that nice kind of envelope shape and the only other thing to do is just set the uh, resonance here. So I'm going to put the resonance of filter 2 to 28. And we've got some automation on the resonance of filter 1 and the cutoff of filter 1. So that we'll hear that in a bit. And we've also got some envelope amount. So this is a volume of this envelope on the filter. And I've got this automating as well because. because that can have quite a cool effect on the sound so with all that set up the last thing really is the effects section so I'm going to add some tube amp to sort of like do drive this sound a bit um, so take the drive down to about 24 push the volume up a bit let's get that top, top end back in the sound some shelving EQ to just boost the high frequencies a bit Peak EQ to just do a bit of a kind of low sort of bump. Make it sound a little bit warmer. Maybe a little bit on the kind of high mids as well. Just turn that volume down a bit. Some reverb. And a chorus delay. Uh, and uh, I'm going to sync the delay, sync the chorus, take the time up to 67, take some of the low cut out, just 
back up to 30. And take this dry down, dry wet slider down to about 15. Bit more so. And that's our sound set up and then what we've got in here is this automation on the cutoff frequency uh, and the filter envelope amount so that's going to boost the top end again and a bit of resonance as well so you can have something where it starts off all deep and then just kind of filters out again so and then to finish the sound off Fab Filter Saturn adding some distortion to the sound and what I've done here looking at the kind of frequency for I don't want to distort that bottom end too much um, so I've kind of got this Fab Filter Saturn set up and then I've got this band crossover set up about 150 Hz and I've kind of muted this section turn the power off for this kind of low frequency so we're not distorting this frequency at all just from 150 Hertz upwards we've got some distortion applied to the sound and all that kind of resonance and um, kind of frequency cut off frequency automation we've got going on the kind of fab filter satin is responding to that and just distorting it and giving it a kind of really nice tone so Okay, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Uh, and this is the end of the Hardstyle Progressive feature we've been doing on FM8 this month. So uh, a little reminder, it's getting passed over to the Reactor website, nireactor.com. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe on there and then you'll get an email notification when the tutorials go live. Um, and yeah, get yourself over to fm8tutorials.com as well. Tons more tutorials using... FM8 and yeah thanks for watching all right cheers bye